Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart. We have a special guest here today at the Wager Talk studio, Mr. Andrew McInnes, all the way from Halifax, Canada. I love it. Um, for some reason, I was thinking you were from Newfoundland, <laughs> and I got corrected earlier. That's what I get for not knowing my provinces. Um, very excited to have you in the studio. We're going to give people kind of a, a little look into who you are, how you got started, all that fun stuff. So tell me a little bit about yourself. So I kind of started off in like the media industry and I wanted to take that route. I've always loved, uh, you know, sports talk, radio, that type of thing. Uh, but then I got more into like the analytics of it and, you know, why teams were winning, why they're winning by so much or losing by so many points. And that's kind of when I made the transition to just handicapping. Uh, I was in school for sports journalism, uh, kind of got out of that route and started doing this full time, you know, crunching numbers all day, uh, focusing mainly uh, on, on NHL, uh, CFL, mostly like the Canadian type sports, but then getting involved in everything. You know, certain people think that you might just do one or two sports because I'm Canadian, but of course I do college basketball and different things as well. Uh, but then full, handicapping became a full-time thing for me, and it's just something I really uh, worked really hard for several years to kind of get here and, and, and uh, make this something I can do for a living and do full-time. That's awesome. So you're a little bit newer with us here at Sports Memo. Not too new, but you've had some really awesome runs so far, absolutely crushing the NBA. You do a NHL show with a couple of the other guys from Sports Memo. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I do it with uh, Prez, Alex B. Smith, Carmine, uh, Dave Koken. Uh, we have Buster Sports as well. It's great. I mean, a lot of laughs. Anyone that knows uh, Prez knows that if you're going to you're gonna get some antics, you're going to get some jokes and some laughs. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always entertaining. But most importantly, every day we're breaking down the slate and giving out some free picks on uh, each hockey. And, and I, I really enjoy it because uh, as someone who is newer to hockey, I would say in the last five years I became a hockey fan. I really have started to enjoy the sport. There's still so much that I don't know. So you guys kind of give me a little look into that and kind of help me understand even just the sport better as well as where the numbers are coming from, especially with some of these teams that maybe be a little bit overvalued, finding those nice little juicy underdogs. The Blackhawks was not one of them last night, and that was not your fault, but uh, I definitely learned the hard way. <laughs> I, I should have texted you. I had, the, I, I had Vegas on the puck line. I, see, and this is just things that, like, I start to think, hey, I know this sport. I've got this under wraps, and uh, this is when you text the expert. <laughs> um, what other sports are you looking forward to? I know right now we're in the full swing of um, NFL. CFL just got over. You said you're going to be doing college basketball. Do you do any baseball, any other kind of sports um, like that? So sports like baseball are very low volume for me, which I find in sports like that where there's so many games, just to try and find that one spot you really like. Look at the whole card, uh, find that one spot. And like I said, there's so many games every single day uh, for so many months. No need to rush in, jam pack your card. Uh, especially, you know, when you build the list of clients, you have to act like their, their bankroll is your bankroll. Uh, and just try and find that good spot for them. Uh, NFL has been good this year. Uh, I'm on a pretty good run right now, but it's the same thing for me. Very low volume. You know, okay. I try and find that one or How two many games? Spots. Two games a week? Three yeah, games around week. two okay. games a week. And, uh, you know, maybe a total on a side. Uh, again, if I like more than, than that, I'll, I'll give out more. But I'm just trying to find that one spot for my clients to be able to say, hey, look, you know, I know I can trust Andrew for, for hockey or for basketball or different things, CFL in the summer. Uh, but he also does offer NFL or different things. So I want to be able to dabble in different sports for everybody else, but also know that, hey, you're probably going to get a lot more NHL than maybe NFL this week. Okay, perfect. And it, when people are looking to buy your packages, what kind of handicapper are you? What type of write-ups do you do? Just to give them a little bit of insight of what they're going to get when they buy your packages. So uh, I spoke about it in our, my last video I was just doing here in the studio. Uh, I'm a situational handicapper for the most part, and I think I learned a lot about that when I was kind of taking the uh, journalism aspect and uh, that kind of route. You know, I was doing sports journalism for a couple of teams, hockey teams and basketball teams in my hometown. And you really do learn the mentality of teams approaching different games, how they're feeling after a loss, after a win, uh, entering a game. And I really do feel like that's important, Kelly, because, you know, an NBA game, you're playing 82 games in a season. That's a lot. Teams are going to get up for one game more than the other. I think a lot, just, a lot of back-to-backs, a lot of travel, exactly. a lot of uh, rest, as yes. we'll call it, for some key <laughs> players, sometimes the overreaction to the line. That's awesome. Make sure you guys are following Andrew at McInnes Picks on Twitter. You can get all of his stuff over at sportsmemo.com. And do not forget, every Monday, $9 Monday, at wagertalk and sportsmemo.com. That's where you get all daily packages for Monday's action, only $9. That includes any 5% best bets, normally priced at $40.